Hey folks, welcome back to Nutrition Made Simple, a video series that we created that takes a look at ideas surrounding natural health topics and then we break them down into easy to understand and actionable steps. My name is Brian Strickland. I'm joined again today by Ed Jones. He's the owner and founder of Nutrition World. And for the month of August, we've been looking at some ideas surrounding kids' health. Um, but today we wanted to look at probiotics in particular. Pro probiotics are an important part for pretty much everyone. Um, we believe that it should be a supplement that pretty much everyone takes. But for kids, they're especially important. And we're going to get into exactly why in just a second. But just starting out, Ed, as we know, probiotics are important for a few reasons. Um, digestion and immune support being some of the top reasons, but we have another one that we think is even more important. But tell us a little bit about why they're so important for digestion and the immune system. Yes, Brian. Well, if you can imagine that we have this huge quantity of trillions of microbiome basically like bacteria but it's not us this is something outside of us but it supports us like a team member if they're healthy and they produce brain chemicals that's why when you get sick at your stomach you get food poisoning you get anxious depressed and you feel really terrible mentally not just physically right. because it's disturbing all of the balance down here that is there to keep us thinking straight less anxious and less depressed and this nation's full of epidemics of those certain yeah, reasons for sure and so that, that's extremely important it gets rid of toxins it takes some pathogens and poisons and helps deactivate them. It makes the gut lining stay healthy so it doesn't have uh, disruptions that can cause many multiple health issues. You know, the children today, have we have more asthma than we've ever had mm -hmm. linked to many types of imbalances within the gut. Autoimmune, skin, eczema, you name it. There is a link to all of those with the microbiome. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, kids aren't eating a ton of fermented foods. Their diets, you know, may be uh, heavily dosed with processed foods um, and that's important to recognize like it, it's important to see that for what it is and we're not making a judgment either way um, because we know that's a part of everyone's life but with probiotics in particular um, I know some parents that have given them to kids and they'll say well I haven't really seen a difference in my kids by taking a probiotic why is that what would be causing that great question and I hear that constantly one reason there's many multiple reasons one is if you order it from the internet they're probably dead these things are organisms it's kind of in a dormant state but they actually are still live organisms mm -hmm. do you know that ordering from Amazon this summer is going to destroy most of your supplements at nutritionw.com our mail order uses cold packs it costs you one dollar per cold pack and so you have to be very cautious of how they're shipped how they're stored secondly brand is extremely important if you don't look if you look on the back of your bottle right mm -hmm. now if you have have a children's probiotic or an adult if it doesn't have something called a strain or species number you're probably not going to get much benefit out of it thirdly it's not easy to put good bacteria back in here the bad guys if they are bad or they're neutral it is hard it's kind of like planting seeds on georgia red clay it's not easy <laughs> to grow right and we have to keep doing it and we have to keep feeding it with natural food see these things if they go in they have to have food well what is that food it's whole foods it's fiber it's prebiotics that mm -hmm. comes from really home cooking basically or vegetables and fibers and things that many of us just don't get yeah and we have plenty of other videos talking about probiotics how to pick one what's important to look um, for when you're picking out one um, but we wanted to go ahead and move on to our last point and one that we think is probably the most important when it's centered around kids and that's the use of antibiotics um, when we take amp antibiotics we're essentially killing all the bacteria within our gut right mm -hmm. um, and so it's important to replenish those and probiotics are a great way to do that um, you have a few stats on what happens when we take our kids to the pediatrician, how mm -hmm. often antibiotics are actually in use. So can you tell us a little about, about that? You know, one in five visits to pediatrician leaves with a prescription for an antibiotic. And you know, the American Academy of Pediatrics even says, recommends strongly for ear infections, do not give a uh, antibiotic for 48 hours. Give it a little time. Mm -hmm. We are overdosing our children on these and half the time or maybe close to that is a viral infection anyway. It doesn't work. It is a go-to because I think a lot of healthcare professionals, being the good people they are, which they are, just haven't been trained on the devastation of how these can affect the health of those children as they grow. And if they are taking it, not doing anything is certainly putting you at more risk. Mm -hmm. Again, when you're finished with antibiotic or you're even midway through it, you have pretty much used a flamethrower 
on your gut. Everything's yeah. gone. And now, that's a perfect opportunity, though, to start putting the good guys back in mm-hmm. if you do it before that last dose of ana- uh, you know, last dose of antibiotic. Ask your pediatrician or doctor. We're not here to, to treat any medical conditions. These things are extremely safe. Also, no, at least from my experience, after about age five, they actually to start converting to more of an adult version of probiotic. And in my opinion, uh, follow labels. You have to if you want to. But at five and six, they can start using even the adult versions. Mm. There isn't really a side effect from these. But you will find brands that will be more compatible than other brands. Half the brands are my friends and half the fr- brands I don't really agree with. So I have to find the ones that agree with me. We have gummies. They have chewables. They have all kind of options. Do not get them on mail order during the summer or they're going to be useless. <laughs> can you tell us a little about what is the major differences between like an adult an adult probiotic supplement and a kid's adult or a kid's probiotic supplement actually the, uh you know the doses are lower they're like two to three billion when you deal with children's mm-hmm. that sounds like a lot brian it's actually not uh there's brands that sell 100 billion per dose right. and even some prescription brands that are selling at that level now kids don't usually need that unless they have real serious medical conditions but it's the species the the type that we know that kids need a little bit more of than adults mm-hmm. and we're still learning this is not an exact science we do know one thing they're safe two is they work if you do enough long enough and you keep feeding it with the right foods it is not oh i took a a probiotic so now i'm good it is a a gardening effort we have to keep planting and feeding and nourishing every single time that we do this so when you're talking about the right types of food just give us an idea of what some of those might be well i'm a huge fan of you know colored vegetables and the phytochemicals that come from whole foods Um, if you look at your diet you know a lot of the carbohydrate Rich foods are very empty of of what we want. The Mm -hmm. nutrients, the fiber, uh, prebiotics are what feed probiotics. And that has to do mainly with fiber, a type of fiber. Most of us get about half the fiber we need every day. There are prebiotic powders that you can make Mm -hmm. for your children and adults. You mix it up, you stir it, you drink it. They usually taste pretty good. And they will feed these guys so they become even stronger. Without food, they're going to die out. Yeah, absolutely. And most of our children's options are going to be some sort of chew or a gummy, which is what we have here. These are by Garden of Life. Um, this is uh, by Probulin, um, which is a great probiotic mm-hmm. brand. And this one I was not even familiar with. This is called Probiomed Kids, um, and it's another chewable tablet um, that we have here in the store. So next time you're in, be sure to check them out. Of course, if you have any other questions, please feel free to let us know. We're always happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Nutrition Made Simple. Take care. Stay well. Thank you.